Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the Curacao Ninja Batch 2. I'm releasing this before the refresh of this mouse pad comes out. So this is, if you're going to be buying this mouse pad used, if you're not sure if you want to pick up this mouse pad, this is going to be kind of the overview of that. I've had this pad for around three to four months now, and I've put a good amount of hours into this mouse pad because I wanted to test its claims against durability since the Batch 1 had a lot of issues against that. So with that being said, let's get started. And first, I just want to say that Kurosun did send his mousepad out for review. That doesn't in any way, in shape, or form affect my opinion of this product. As you guys know, I try to be as fair and unbiased as possible when covering everything. So first, I want to talk about the really big issue with this mousepad. The reason why a lot of people kind of strayed away from this mousepad. And that it's had really bad consistency issues. Some people were having issues where the surface would start feeling really sticky. And I found this being an issue with a lot of my Alpha Cell mousepads. This mousepad does use an Alpha Cell base. So the thing with Alpha Cell is that after a while it does lose its stickiness, but the big deal with Alpha Cell is that people really like it because it's sticky. But because of how sticky it is, depending on the manufacturer, the brand of Alpha Cell, the surface, there's a lot of things that can cause inconsistency on Alpha Cell surfaces. And I'm glad to say that the batch two of the Ninja fixed that completely. If your mouse pad does lose that stickiness, you can easily just put a little, like just mist your desk with water and put it on there. And even like the smallest bit of moisture will help it stick to your desk again. It's just like mid pour on where you need to do something to kind of have it stick. Now we're going to go on to the surface. The surface is a very, very, very smooth speed surface. And after even three months of consistent use, it's held up really well. I've been using this mouse pad for pretty much every game outside of Valorant. In Valorant, I prefer much slower mouse pads like the Artisan Type 99, Saturn Pro. Even a worn in zero works better for me for Valorant, but for games like Call of Duty, Apex, Overwatch, even certain aim trainers and, tra and target switching and tracking scenarios, this mouse pad has been fantastic. The Surface U sports this really nice white stitch surface. It, it is surface level. I would say that it's a little bit like it's like a millimeter over the surface on my copy at least, but it's very nice and I didn't really see it bothering me in game at all. If anything, it's just the stitching ending over the surface. Other than that, the surface is very, very, very low profile and I didn't notice it bothering me in game at all. There's been no fraying on it whatsoever either. Even towards here where you see they actually matched up these seams, there's been no fraying. So next, I want to get into a couple of comparisons, comparing this mousepad against other mousepads similar to it and ones I would recommend alongside it if you're looking for a faster mousepad. First, I want to start with the Infinity Mouse Speed. This is the mid variant. This mousepad is four millimeters thick, so it's a little bit thicker than the Kurosan Ninja. It also comes in a 500 by 500 sizing, unlike the Ninja, which is 490 by 420. It does surf. It does support a really similar surface level s surface, but the speed of it, I would say, is relatively similar. The main difference between the Kurosan Ninja and the Infinity Mice Infinite Speed is that this is 4 millimeters, comes in 500 by 500, and it uses a different surface alongside it using their custom IPU base. Their surface is a little bit more nylon feeling compared to the very nice cloth smooth feeling. And these ball pods are both really smooth and really s fast. I do like them both. I do prefer the Kurosan Ninja a little bit more just because I like the 490 by 420 sizing. If I did have a 490 by 420 infinite speed, this would be a much easier comparison for me, but I just prefer 490 by 420. Going on to more modern pads, this is the Padsmith Crucible. This mouse pad is very similar style-wise to, to the Kurosan Ninja. This uses Alpha Cell as well. This is own screen printed Padsmith's Alpha Cell, also surface level stitching and it is sporting a little bit softer of an alpha cell. The Crucible is noticeably slower, but still in that speed category where the dynamics is just really fast. There is a slight texture to it. So compared to the Kurosan Ninja, which is quick and smooth, the Pass with Crucible is quick and like a textured smooth. I would compare it similarly to the Saturn Pro where it has this very nice smooth feeling, but there's still that bit of texture that gives you that feedback and response. And the only real difference is that the Kurosan Ninja is just noticeably quicker than the Crucible. The Crucible being a fast mouse pad, but on the slower end of speed pads, I would compare this similarly to the Hayate Otsu, if anything. It feels really quick and controllable, but without giving up that speed that you would like. And I would actually prefer this a lot more for tack shooters. And then finally, I, I just want to compare it to the Artisan Raiden. The Raiden is kind of just the staple. This is the mouse pad to beat. This is the Raiden Xsoft. My Raiden Xsoft has a good amount of hours on it too. The Raiden feeling like a much quicker mouse pad dynamically. It also uses their authentic Rogers Poron. 
So if you want that consistency and you don't really want to have to worry about there being an inconsistency issue, the Raiden is just the way to go, especially when you get that X soft and that mid, you have a choice if, if you want soft or hard. The Ninja, on the other hand, just does not have that option. It's just a really nice, very firm mouse pad. The speed, I would say the Raiden is dynamically quicker than a Ninja. The Ninja has a little bit more dynamic friction than the Raiden, where the Raiden just feels really quick all the time. It just feels fast, and I personally am not the biggest fan of it when it comes for tax shooters, but for games like Overwatch, Apex, both mouse pads just feel incredible. Kurosawa Ninja feeling a little bit thinner, but also feeling just as quick and consistent. And honestly, if you're will if you're wanting to pick up the Kurosawa Ninja on the used market, like I said, this mouse pad is out of stock. You have to pick it up used. This is a fantastic choice, but I would just make sure that this is a batch two unit you'd be picking up and not a batch one unit. And next we're gonna go into the pricing of this mouse pad. This mouse pad, since it is discontinued, the pricing kind of fluctuates. People sell this all the time for between thirty dollars to even upwards of sixty dollars. So if you're gonna pick up the Kurosawa Ninja, place the value around forty to fifty dollars. It's a fantastic mouse pad, no matter the price you pick it up at. But because you can't buy it brand new anymore, you kinda of have to just pay what you think you feel like it's worth. And you can always negotiate around as well. The sizing of this mouse pad, like I said, is 490 by 420. This is around 3 millimeters, 3.2 millimeters. It's a relatively thin mouse pad. It uses Alpha Cell and is very firm. And honestly, I just really enjoy it for faster paced shooters. I do not enjoy this mouse pad at all for Valorant. I personally cannot use this mouse pad in Valorant. And you can, friends and friends of mine can tell you that I just play consistently worse on this in Valorant compared to literally any other game. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. This is coming in a long line of mousepad reviews I have coming up. I have a lot of mousepads to cover. I've covered all the mice I wanted to cover now, so now we're back on the mousepads. I have all of the Esport Tiger Modern mousepads coming very soon. I also have the Ghost Glides Dream and a bunch of other black squares that I need to get over. So if you want, let me know in the comment section what you want to see next. But until then, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more. This is a really good mouse pad, and I would definitely pick it up if you like faster mouse pads for your game. And it's a really good consistent mouse pad as the Batch 2. Make sure you inquire if it's the Batch 2 or Batch 1. And if they don't know, ask when they bought it because that'll tell if it's batch two or batch one. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like if you did, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys in the next one.